G'day guys, and welcome to Avention. We know it's been a while, but we've been very busy with our business and getting Jimmy and Bellamy off to Rolex. But we decided to make a video for you guys, and today we're gonna to be constructing our very own Cavaletti. Okay guys, so the great thing about Cavaletti is you can use them in so many different ways, whether you're a jumper or a dressage rider, really for anything. And the, the best thing about them is that they're adjustable just the way they are. So as you can see, the way it is here, I'd be using this for jumping and, and coming in at the canter. All I gotta do is just kick it over one, and now we're looking more like trot poles, etc. and if I need it to be even smaller, I can roll it over one more time. So you've got three built-in heights into the one jump. Now, the other great thing about them is that they're really, really easy to make, which means if I can make them, any of you can. However, I am gonna have my trusty brother-in-law, Sam, give us a hand, he knows what he's doing, and uh, let's get cracking. Okay, this is an incredibly easy project to finish, and if you've got a basic understanding of working with wood, you'll have no problems. If it seems intimidating to you, feel free to show this video to someone that you know who might be able to do it for you, maybe in exchange for cold beer. It's just my, just my opinion. But either way, let's start with one piece of wood. It's 16 foot long, four by four square piece of wood. Now, some of you are gonna be saying, I want a nice round pole for my Cavaletti, that's fine. For these, we actually just smoothed off the corners so there's no chance that the horse can get any splinters. But one piece of wood. Then you're gonna need a drill with some various bits, like a drill bit for drilling holes and a paddle bit here for sinking in the nuts on the end, a hammer for banging stuff, a pencil for making lines, uh, I've got a couple of different size uh, bolts here for uh, actually connecting it all together, depending on what size you want to use. And these are three and a half inch and seven inch, I think, but that's not too much of a big deal. A square here for, for uh, getting your angles right, a uh, wrench here, uh, a measuring tape, chisel, eye protection, really important because there's going to be lots of stuff flying around ear protection so that I can hear Jimmy nagging at me because we wouldn't want to be able to do that. A skill saw, and that's about it as far as necessary tools. Some additional things that might make your life easier are a miter saw for angled cuts, an oscillating tool, which is easier than a chisel, a router for rounding any sharp edges, A tool belt for looking the part, even if you don't know what you're doing. A beaver for those hard to reach places. <laughs> a handlebar mustache, because you're a man. We got it together, didn't we? <laughs> and of course, some cold beer. Whoa, 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 maybe when we're done. But before we start building, let's head to a Shramo shout out. Today's shout out goes to High Hopes Therapeutic Riding Center located in Old Lyme, Connecticut. The mission of High Hopes is to improve the lives of people with cognitive, physical, and emotional disabilities through the benefits of therapeutic horseback riding. I'm actually teaching a clinic at this facility with all the proceeds benefiting the program. Check out their website here. The clinic's on June 27, 28. Hope to see you there. Welcome back, guys. Now let's build some Cavaletti. The first step is measuring out four two-foot legs to make both of the X's. Make sure that you make a 45 degree angle at the ends of the legs. After all your cuts, you should be left with one long rail and four two-foot legs. We want to make notches halfway down each of the legs so they can interlock and make the Cavaletti more strong. So now we measure a foot in from each of the long ends and make a line, and this represents where our notch will go. Before making your first cut, be sure to set your skill saw to be half the depth of the wood that you're using. In this case, it's just under two inches. A little tip here, it's better to undercut and make it a little narrow and shave some extra wood off than to overcut and have it be too wide. 
Once I've got my outside cuts really accurate, I go ahead and put additional cuts all along the middle piece so that when I go to chisel or use the oscillating tool, it's easy to chip out. Before joining the legs together, I go back and cut a 45 degree angle across the legs so that no matter which way it's turned, it will sit flush on the ground. Now comes the fun part of actually assembling the Cavaletti. So be sure to repeat all these steps so that you have two crosses ready to start drilling holes into. Our first step of assembling the Cavaletti is to make the cross beam secure with a bolt. Now because we don't want any bolts sticking out anywhere for safety reasons, this is where we use our spade or our paddle bit to bore out quite a wide hole and this is where we'll tighten the nut so that it sits inside the wood. Now drill your hole the same width as your bolt all the way through, bang your bolt in, put in a washer and a nut and tighten. Repeat these steps on your other cross and now it's time to add the rail on top. For this step you'll need your long drill bit. Same as before, we're going to drill all the way through the rail into the leg and out the other side. Then. We get our paddle bit again, bore a bigger hole for the nut to sit in, bang the bolt through, add the washer and the nut, and tighten. Do this on both sides, make sure all your nuts are tight, and the job's a good one. There you have it folks, your very own Cavaletti. I'll be sure to post the dimensions of the materials that we use in the description below. And next week, I'm going to actually show you some exercises on how to use these Cavaletti when training your horse. But until then, see ya.